All right, so today I'm going to show you how to remove an accessory from a player that already has it on them, right? So they enter the game, you want to take off the hat that they normally wear and put on your own hat. And I have this little cow, or what is it, an ox or something like that. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at our character in the workspace. Here is my hat, right? So some people will search on the occurrence of hat and then remove it. I don't think you should do that. I think you should look through all the accessories, look into the handle, and then find the attachment type. That's how you should identify what you want to remove. And like for the ox, right? The ox has a handle and has a, a left collar attachment. So let's do that and let's add our own hat, right? So we'll go to server script service, go ahead and add a script, call the script, remove accessories. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make a function, local function on player added. Player will get passed in and then the player has an event that we want to connect to called character appearance two p's appearance loaded and we're going to connect that to a function an internal uh an anonymous function that's going to have the, the char that gets passed in the character that gets passed in and then we'll get the humanoid right that's what that's what is used to take on uh, put on accessories we'll say char wait for child humanoid right and if we remove the accessories we could do a hum remove accessories right accessories unfortunately that would take everything off including the hat All right so i don't need the hum just yet i'm going to keep it there though because i want to put a hat on the guy and i'm going to do a four i and v in pairs and I'm going to go through the whole character, get children, and I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, this is going to be the children. This is going to be the head, the torso, the accessories, the humanoid. So we need to differentiate V from other stuff. We'll say V, if V is a accessory, then we're interested in it. Otherwise, we're just going to pass right through. So if it's an accessory, let's go ahead and see if it's the one we want. So we're going to say if V is an accessory and it's also, it also has a handle, it should if it's an accessory. We do find first child and let's look for our hat attachment. All right. So if it's a hat, it should have a hat attachment. Then V destroy. There we go, destroy. Let's hook this event up or this uh, function up to an event. We'll say game players, player added, connect on player added. Let's go in the game. We should be missing a hat. Cool beans, no hat. Just for good measure, let's get rid of the cow or the ox or whatever you call that. And let's go in here. Let's take a look at our ox. Our ox has a handle, left collar attachment. I'm going to copy that because I'm not going to spell that right. Control C. Let's go in here and I'll open up my remove. We'll do an else if. Right. So we're going to check to see if the hat and else if v handle find first child left collar attachment. Then, let me see if I can make this smaller. There we go. Now you can see it. We'll destroy that too. Destroy. Cool. That should get rid of the little cow thing. The ox thing. Whatever it is. And no ox. Awesome. Let's add our own hat. So, I just dug around my, my stuff. I have this goofy hat here. I don't even remember what it's for. Let's just make sure I did it right. Handle, hat attachment, cool, that should work. Let's move that down to server storage and let's put that on our character. So we removed our stuff, right? Right after that for loop, let's go ahead and put our hat on. So I put that in server storage, 
Let's do a local SS for server storage, game, get service, server storage, and then local hat SS, wait for child. What do I call that? My hat, my hat, clone it. And then here's where, this is where I use that humanoid, right? So I'll say humanoid, that's responsible for putting accessories on. Add accessory hat. Cool. Get rid of that. Now you can see everything. And let's hit play. Awesome. I have a hat. Got rid of the ox. Got rid of the builder's hat. Everything's fine. Let's check to see if there's any errors. Make sure there's no errors. Good. No errors. And if you disable the script, we'll just go here, click on your script, hit disabled, play it again. And then you'll realize that all of your accessories are safe and sound. They didn't get destroyed. It was only when you entered the game, they destroyed it for the game. And there I'm back to normal. Cool beans. All right. So let me go ahead and re-enable that because I might want that. And now you know how to remove accessories from your from your players that are entering the game. And you can do that for touch events and stuff too. Like if they touch something, it gets rid of their hat.